Hey, what's up, folks? This is Keith again, and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today, I've got my 04 Ford Ranger 3.0, and I'm going to be replacing the blower motor and the blower resistor. So you get a two for one today. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the blower motor's back this way, but we need to start right here and make some room so we can get it out. I like to take the air filter box out first, and I go ahead and disconnect the mass airflow sensor. There's a little uh, tang right there that you got to press down on when you pull it off. Um, you'll need an 8 millimeter socket or a flat tip screwdriver to take this hose off here. I'm going to use a socket on mine. Just loosen that up right there. Take your air duct off. Go ahead and unclip the clips that hold the top part of your air filter housing on. Take the top part of your air filter housing off. Sit it aside. Now you need to take the bottom part out also. And the way I do that is I grab right here. pull up like that. Once it's up on this end, you can then slide it that way, like that. And you probably will have pulled out these little grommets when you do that. The one that goes on this one on mine is missing, so just be sure you got those uh, and put it back in the little receptacle right there before you put this thing back in. Then set that off to the side there. And this here is where the air filter goes, the air filter housing goes. You see you got those two grommets right there. There's two cleats on the bottom of the air filter box that receive or that go into those uh, those grommets. So when we pulled it up, we first pulled that side up first and then we slid those cleats that way because there are supposed to be anyway, two grommets. Um, actually, hold on, here we go there we go so there's one grommet there and there's supposed to be another grommet there i'm missing mine but uh, be sure you keep track of those and you put them back in before you put your lower air filter box back in okay next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the cruise control unit out and it has a 10 millimeter bolt right there i'm going to go ahead and take it off all right once it's off you can then take your unit push down on it you got this little clip here that goes up into this little uh, receptacle on the side here. You'll see that when you go to take it out. So push down and then just sit this off to the side just like so. Alright, and here is that receptacle I was telling you about. That little uh, clip or blade or whatever you want to call it just slides right up inside there. Okay, now we got to take our coolant reservoir and washer reservoir loose. They're both one unit here. And you've got two 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, one is right there and the other one is right there and then there are two uh, 11 millimeter nuts that hold it down too that you need to take out and there's the other one there so we're going to go ahead and take those loose and what we're going to do with this is we're just going to pull it up and move it towards the front of the vehicle just a little bit we're not going to take it out all the way you just got to get enough room to get that blower motor out okay i'm going to take those two 10 millimeter nuts out or bolts out just one Two. And I'm going to take an 11 millimeter socket and I'm going to take these nuts loose right here. Just one. Two. Pick up on the unit. Just slide it back just a little bit. That's all you got to do. All right, now our blower motor is pretty well exposed here, uh, but we're going to go ahead and start disconnecting some things to. Uh, make it so we can move this harness over a little bit. So go ahead and disconnect your uh, washer fluid pump here And you got a little press tab right there. You got to press that down while you pull out Go ahead and disconnect your low pressure switch on your AC. Just pull up on that tang right there while you're sliding out Then we're gonna go ahead and replace or disconnect our blower motor connector here You're gonna pull up on this tang while you're pulling away from the connector now this is an aftermarket blower motor, mind you. Uh, a, a OE blower motor won't have a little pigtail on it like this. You have to disconnect this from the actual motor down there. So that's that's going to look a little bit different to some people. So if it does, don't worry. It's, it's still the same process. Um, down here we have our little uh, uh, air duct. We're going to go ahead and take it off like that. Go ahead and disconnect it totally from the blower motor. Go ahead and 
get it out of the way. <clears throat> now, there's supposed to be four screws, and they have eight millimeter heads on them that hold the blower motor in. I only have three, because whoever changed this out the last time didn't put the fourth one back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out, and then we're just going to slide this out and pull it on out. All right, ta-da, I got those little screws out. So we're going to go ahead and pull this motor out this way. And then we're just going to go straight up with it, pull it on out of there. Now we have access to our blower resistor. Now we need to disconnect that connector on it. I'm just going to stick up under, under I'm just going to stick something up underneath this tang here. And while I'm pulling up on that tang, I'm going to pull out on the connector. All right, we got it loose. Now look up inside there. A lot of times you want to watch out for this. Uh, sometimes on these Fords, the uh, connectors or the pins inside the connector can get rusted out. Um, I should probably clean that up with some. Uh, electrical parts cleaner or something and uh, put some dielectric on that or replace this connector here I'm gonna try to clean it up though now once that's disconnected there are two eight millimeter screws that hold this resistor on one right there and one right there I'm gonna go ahead and take those out and then we're just gonna go ahead and pull it out alright we've got both of those screws out we can go ahead and pull our resistor block out and there's the old one here's our new one we're going to go ahead and put it in. Now, it, it will really only go in one way. You see these little steps right here? So you can't really put it in backwards or upside down or anything. Let's go ahead and put that in. I'm going to put my screws in and tighten them down. All right, I got my screws in. I'm going to go ahead and just snug them up. Uh, you're screwing into plastic, so this doesn't have to be Gorilla tight. You know, just snug. Not a whole lot of uh, torque to this. I don't have a specification for you, sorry. Yeah, well, I used some electrical parts cleaner on that, and it didn't really do a very good job. Um, I should really replace this connector. I would suggest replacing the connector if it's rusted out. Uh, however, I don't have a connector right now, so this is what I'm going to do in the meantime. And hopefully I get some AC uh, and blows on all speeds. So I put some electrical or dielectric grease in there, and we're going to go ahead and reconnect our connector. Sure that tang goes on all the way so i got my new blower motor well new to me blower motor i got this from the junkyard uh, it only cost me 12 bucks um, one way to save money there guys um, i did check to make sure it worked before i'm installing it here uh, but when before you go put it in be sure you got this little air duct here already connected to the back side of the blower motor here and uh, when you install it that has to be facing down towards that outlet just above the blower resistor um, you got to have some way to pump some air into this motor to cool the motor down. So that's what that's there for. We're going to go ahead and slide this down, just like we slid the old one out. I'm going to slide the new one in the same way, same way the old one came out. You got uh, two slits, one right here and one down on the other side there, that go on these little guiding dowels. And it fits just like that and your bolt holes line up once you got it lined up correctly and then the, the guiding dowels. So I'm going to go ahead and put those bolts in and I'm going to snug them down just like I snug down the bolts or the screws, excuse me, for the blower resistor. I'm going to snug them down about the same tightness and uh, then we'll proceed from there. So I have my three screws installed and snugged up and you can see I've got this little guide dowel in the little oblong slot there. There's another guide dowel right there in the other oblong slot. I'm going to go ahead and Connect this air duct onto that little teat down there. Oh, by the way, there's this thing right here. This thing kind of goes in the, there's a little receptacle for this little uh, grommet. Be sure you, you snap that in too. There we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our electrical connector. This wiring got real stiff from being in the other position for a long time. There we go, we got that. Connectors are connected. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect my uh, low pressure switch for my AC. Clicked into place. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect my uh, washer pump. That clicked into place. I'm now gonna take my coolant reservoir and washer reservoir, just push it back over those uh, two studs coming out right here, one right here and one right here them over like that get them in the holes there we go I'm gonna run down my two 11 millimeter nuts by hand as far as I can 
And I got my two 10 millimeter bolts that go in here. My other one in. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten things down. This one right here is stripped out. I'm gonna go ahead and put our air filter housing back in. We're gonna start by putting these two cleats into the uh, grommets on the side here. Pushing it that way. Now that we have it pushed that way, we can then install the cleats into the uh, bottom grommet. Right, we're just gonna push straight down. Like that. We're gonna take our top half of our air filter housing and we're gonna slide it in like this. There's three tangs that go into three receptacles on the bottom air filter housing. Slide it in like that and then down. Reconnect our clips. This is how you disconnect and reconnect or unclamp and reclamp that air filter housing right here. Off. On. Go ahead and tighten up our duct. We've got to reconnect our mass airflow sensor. Be sure it clicks. Give it a tug, make sure it's in there. All right, now we're gonna take our cruise control unit here and we're going to take this little tang here and slide it up inside that receptacle I was telling you about. Just like that. I'm gonna bolt it back down. It's a 10 millimeter. And that's it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, something to mention. I wasn't wearing gloves in this video. Uh, I usually wear nitrile gloves. I ran out. I really do suggest wearing gloves whenever wor working around automobiles and on automobiles. Uh, also, uh, I didn't have safety glasses on either. I don't condone not wearing safety glasses. You really need to wear safety glasses or goggles whenever you're performing repairs to a vehicle. Guys, be careful out there. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. Uh, please read the entire description of this video down below before you attempt this or apply any of this knowledge. Uh, there's more very important information down there that you need to know before you attempt this. If you're watching this video on a platform other than YouTube, you may want to go to youtube.com forward slash Barber's Auto Help. Find this video there. The description will be beneath it, and you can access all that information. Thanks again for watching, guys. I do appreciate it.